There we go. This is uh, me trying to explain you guys how to get the tokens you need to use with my app and uh, modding Project Zombie. Uh, it's uh, quite easy, to be honest. You just need a Twitch account, which you already have since you're watching this. You probably stream, so you want to use it on your streams. So it's very simple. Just need to come to this URL dev.twitch.tv forward slash console and then you need to register an, an application. Just click here, fill out the name for the app, whatever you want to call it, so that it helps you know what that does. Uh, you can use localhost and the category let's put game integration then just click create and that's it after creating your app uh make sure everything is okay you can go to manage and here you're gonna have the client id this is one of the things you need so you just copy this and then uh you use this URL string. Let me copy it from Notepad. Okay. And I'm going to leave the, um, the URL you need to use without the, the client ID filled in on the description so that you guys can just copy paste it and put in the client ID that you get from the uh, from Twitch Dev Console. So after that, just go to that. I'm going to go here. It's better. So press enter. This is going to ask you. Uh, oops, I misclicked. Even if it says unable to connect, you still get the token. This is the token you want. The access token. OK, after that, you just need to copy it. Go to the app. Uh, let me just do this for a bit. And then you can just press okay, aha, paste it. Uh, oh, this is a client ID. Sorry. Uh, you put the access token here plus the client ID which was here. There we go. And then you need the uh, OATS token. That's easy to get. You just type like Twitch chat token. Something like that. And let's go, yeah, let's go here. No, this is bad. This is not the best one. I think. No. Yeah, this is it. I think. There we go. Then you just get this. Don't copy the. I oh, can copy it like this anyway. Uh, just put it here. Delete the OAuth from the beginning and that's it. The secret is still not needed, but you can also get it here by pressing new secret. Okay. And then you just copy this into here. The channel ID, I actually don't use Firefox for it. I use Chrome because there's a plugin uh, for Chrome. I don't remember the name. Ah. Twitch username and user ID. Just click it. Put your username here. Press enter. And here we go. This is your channel ID. Then, as you see, I already have it there. Uh, don't leave any white spaces or it will bug out. I haven't um, set the filters and the conditions and all that stuff for the text boxes, so it's still alpha. So I have an excuse for being lazy here. After doing that, you can just save it. Okay, I'm gonna, um, to make sure that everything is the way it should be, nothing is in cache, 
uh, where I need to do like this stuff. I just need to delete the two rewards I already set up. Yeah, so you're using it. I'm gonna close the app. I'm gonna delete all the logs. And I'm gonna restart the app. So, here we go. This should work. And it does. So that's the way you um, get the the data for the info for my app. It's that easy. Then you can do whatever you want to do, like adding a uh, adding the events you want uh, the way you want. I'm just gonna do something random so that it applies. Uh, so that it stores it and. You guys can see that it's actually working. So that's about it. Sorry for the delay. I hope this helps you all. And uh, have fun.